Good evening, K-5 class. This is Miss Susan coming to you from YouTube. Um, this is day two of our lesson, and today um, students actually have no paperwork. Um, so we will just be doing a little bit of instruction um, with phonics and our numbers. Um, so we'll go ahead and get uh, started on that. We're going to begin with lesson 116. If you notice, once again, there's no papers in your binder that I've provided for your student. So, um, you'll just listen to me and, um, I would appreciate everyone going to the education website that I've, um, text to each of you all. Um, I was up late last night and those, um, that website will provide many, many activities for your child, uh, just to enhance what they've already learned in class. Um, so I would really appreciate it if, um, each of our students participate in those. So that'll be great. We're going to go ahead and begin with our Bible scriptures that we've been studying. Exodus 20 verse 8, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. And Isaiah 55, 6, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. So we've been talking about how Jesus was with the little children and then how the lamb became lost from the shepherd. So today we're going to continue that story. And we're going to begin by how the shepherd, he actually, he put the lamb up on his shoulders when he found the lamb. And he carried him back down the mountain to go home. He spoke comforting words to the lamb as they went along with their long journey traveling home. The shepherds called to his friends to tell him to be glad with him. Rejoice with me, he said, for I have found my sheep which was lost. The good shepherd put the lost lamb with the other ninety-nine sheep, and he rejoiced with his friends on finding the lost sheep. So as you can tell, they are all happy in this picture, um, just like how Jesus becomes happy with one of us when we might go astray from him. So, um, so the next one on our next page, it talks about how Jesus is the good shepherd. So have you ever guessed that the good shepherd reminds us of Jesus? Jesus said, I am the good shepherd and know my sheep and I and am known of mine. We are like the lost lamb. We can become disobedient, lost with no way to save ourselves. So only if we accept the loving care of Jesus, the good shepherd, we can be saved. Jesus did even more than the shepherd in the story, though. He said, I lay down my life for my sheep. So Jesus loved us so much that he died for us. He laid down his life on the cross so that his poor, lost, wandering sheep could be found. Perhaps you have never let him come into your heart to be your Savior, and thus don't know how wonderful it is to belong to Him and have Him also as your kind shepherd. So Jesus is the kindest person who ever lived, and the, and the kindest thing that Jesus did was to lay down His life for His sheep to die on the cross for our sins. So children are a part of God's flock too, like you all. And so Jesus, the good shepherd, finished explaining to the disciples why children are so important to him. Children can be his lambs, a part of his flock. He wants children to come to him to be saved too. He wants them to follow his gentle leading while they are young so that when we become older, we will stay following after him and doing his work that we're supposed to do in the world. Jesus wants to lead his children into the green pastures of his word, the Bible, where he, where we can learn wonderful things about him and what he wants us to do. The Bible is like food for our souls. It makes us strong on the inside to resist the temptation to do wrong. Children are so very important to Jesus Christ that he calls children everywhere to come and follow him. Perhaps you could help him by telling 
the children in your neighborhood about the good shepherd who cares for all of them. So Jesus said, Behold, I stand at the, at the door and knock, and if any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come into him, and I will sup with him, and he with me. So that's in the book of Revelation, chapter 3, verse 20. So this is not talking about an actual door, guys. This is talking about our hearts. But Jesus, he stands outside each person's heart wanting, a, wanting to come into their life and forgive of them of their sins and bring them joy, forgiveness, and blessings. So notice in our picture, there's no handle on the outside of the door. So it is to the door of our hearts. God will not force his way into your life, though. He wants to wait until you invite him to come in. You must open the door of your heart from the inside to let Jesus come on in. He wants to not only come into your heart, but he also wants to sup with you, meaning to enjoy the sweet relationship that comes from knowing and obeying him. So why not open your heart to him, for he's the good shepherd, and he invites all the children of the world to come to him. So that's an amazing story. Miss Susie really enjoyed that, and I hope you guys did too. So we're going to go ahead and begin our spelling words. Okay, so we've got quite a few more than yesterday, boys and girls. Um, the reason why that we don't have any papers to do is because this would actually be our day to focus on handwriting. And Miss Susan's been instructed not to provide handwriting for you guys while we're off during this time. So, we're going to go ahead and begin with phonics. We're going to be focusing on lines 2, 3, or I'm sorry, lines 3, 4, and 5 today. <clears throat> so, we have smile, skim, smell, sky, scum, scale, then, van, that, wish, dish, and fish. So if you notice those three, wish, dish, and fish, those are all rhyming words, boys and girls. So today we're going to be focusing on a new special sound, and it's our S M S K and our S C. Okay, so we have S M S M N smoke. Sm and smoke. So examples of that special sound is smile, smash, smith, smoke, smell, and smack. So sm. Next we have sc sk in scat. So that was always the sound uh, you might hear your mom or your dad make whenever they're trying to make a cat go away. Scat cat. That's what that sound reminded me of. So sk and scat. So some examples of this special sound in words is scuff, scope, scone, scale, Scab and scalp. So S C SK. Next, we have a very similar sounding um, um, special sound. It actually sounds just alike, boys and girls. So, this also, our S K says SK. So, you're going to have to really look at what letter comes after the S. So, sk and skate. And some examples of those words are skin, husk. Notice this is at the ending of the word, that SK, but you're still hearing that husk, that sk at the end. Then we have skip, 
ask, task, and ska. So S-K, sk. And boys and girls, I just want to review some more of our special sounds. Per in pray. Gur in grin. And then we have our k in duck. E in me. O in go. Y in fly. A in pray. St in stop. Pull in plane. Fur in frog. Tur in train. Sh in ship. Th in thick. In this, so notice that's the same special sound, but we're having th in thick, th thick. And then we also have the in this, the is. So those, even though they look the same, they sound very differently in words, boys and girls. Next, we have our bull. In block. <clears throat> cool in clock. Full in flake. And ghoul in glue. Burr in broad. Durr in drum. So that's our final special sounds, boys and girls. Now we are going to go ahead and move into numbers. Okay, so we've been learning a lot about counting by fives, so we're going to go ahead and continue to do that, but I want to tell you all that if you, if you see all the numbers that are going by fives, you see that when you're counting by fives, that the end of the number either ends in a five or a zero, okay? So let's practice this together. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. Good job, boys and girls. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and do our tens while we're at it. So if um, we'll go ahead and begin. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Very good, boys and girls. And next, boys and girls, we are going to be reviewing recognition with numbers and our after numbers. So, let's begin by um, reviewing our number families, boys and girls. So, within our number family, so here is our zero all the way to nine. And then this 10 would still be considered our teen family, the 10, 11, and 12. So as odd as that sounds, our curriculum still considers that our teen family. So 
And then our yellow house, that's our 20 family. So if we were to say 24, there would be our 24. Notice that's not 42. That 2 comes first, 24. So here's our 30 family, boys and girls. So if we said 38, here is our 3 and then our 8. 38. We're going to move along with our 40 family. Here's all of our 40 family numbers. If we said 44, so there's a 4 and then another 4, 44. So our 50 family, 52. So here's our 5 and then our 2, 52. And then our 60 family, if we were to stop at 69, a 6 and then a 9. Remember, we don't turn it around. That would be a 96. We want 69. Okay. And then our 70 family, we've got all those nice seven seventy one. So there's some number recognition of 71. Mm -hmm. Next is our 80 family, 86, 8, and then a 6, 86. Our 90 family, 90, 93, a 9, and then a 3. And then we have our big 100 number. So on some of your number tablets, you're going to be writing 101. 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, and 109, boys and girls. Now let's go ahead and begin to talk about our after numbers. So remember, an after, when Miss Susan asks... Say we have number 22 on our paper. What number comes after 22? That would be 23. Okay. What number comes after 44? 45. What number comes after 57? 58. What number comes after 60? 61. What number comes after 72? 73. What number comes after 88? 89. What number comes after 93? 94. 94 does. What number comes after 99, boys and girls? 100. That's right. 100. Very good. <clears throat> now we are going to be reviewing how to spell out our numbers 1 through 10. We've been working on this quite a bit in class, but I still just want to review it with you all to just make sure we're able to recognize our number as well as the word that comes with the number. So we have O-N-E spells one. T-W-O spells two. Th, there's one of our special sounds, boys and girls, that T-H, three, three, number three. Four, number four. F-I-V-E, five. Six, S-I-X. It's got that X at the end for that X. Number six. Seven. S-E-V-E-N spells seven. Eight. E-I-G-H-T. Eight. Nine. N-I-N-E spells nine. Ten. T-E-N spells ten. Very good, boys and girls. 
Okay, now we're going to move, um, go ahead and go to us doing our six family combinations. Okay, so we talked about this some yesterday with some of the other combination families, but today we're going to review our six family. So, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, plus zero. So, Everybody knows, you all know what that equals, yes. It would be that number itself, what is in the problem, six plus zero equals six. And if you flip it around, just like we done yesterday, zero plus six equals six. Next, we have our one, two, three, four, five, 5 plus 1 equals, let's count our dots, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 5 plus 1 equals 6. So if we flip that around, 1 plus 5 equals 6 also. So now we have one, two, three, four, four plus one, two. Four plus two equals one, two, three, four, five, six. Four plus two equals six. Very good, boys and girls. So we won't worry about this subtraction for right now. We are still on our addition families. So, we will continue learning about that for a little while longer before we go to subtraction. So, now here we've got 1, 2, 3 plus 1, 2, 3. So, I know you all know what that would be. Yes, that'd be 6. 3 plus 3 equals 6. Okay, boys and girls. So, next we are going to review our coin, what they look like. So, your recognition of your coins. And we're also going to review what they're worth. So, this penny. We've went over it a lot. So, one penny is worth one cent. Okay? Kind of like the number one, one cent. Okay? Next, we have our nickel. Our nickel is worth five cents. So, these coins are very large. They're not exactly, they're not at all the size of normal size coins. But this is what my curriculum gives me to teach you all. So, this coin, nickel, is worth five cents. Five cents. Next, we have our dime. That dime is worth ten cents. Ten cents. So, if you notice, boys and girls, when we count by our, let Miss Susie find her chart again. When we count by our fives and tens, oh, it's down here. Hang on one moment. When we count by our tens, that's when we would count by, by our dimes. So when you all count your dimes, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and then that 100 would mean a dollar, okay? So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, 10 dimes equal a dollar, boys and girls. I know we've talked about that a little bit in class. So, next would be our nickel. So, that nickel's worth five cents, just like these numbers are. So, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty. So, boys and girls, to get fifty cents, we would have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We'd have to have ten nickels to have 50 cents, okay? So, for our pennies, for our pennies to get 10 of those, those are just one, worth one. So, we would get 10 pennies to equal 10 cents. Five pennies to equal five, okay? All right. 
So let's go ahead and count some of our, our coins here. So we're using the penny. So we're going to count by ones, of course, aren't we, boys and girls? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there would be ten cents, boys and girls. But it's not a dime. It's 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 in it could be an exchange for a dime. Okay? So ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. So we'd have eighteen cents right there. So that's almost twenty. Next we would have our dime. And our dime is, of course, worth 10 cents, boys and girls. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. So we would have 80 cents here, just like the number 80. Okay. All right, so next we have our nickels, and they're worth five cents. So five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Okay, so that's just like in our nickels, our counting by fives here, 35, except we would have our little cent sign. Okay, now we're going to review some time recognition with you boys and girls. So here is our o'clock. We're back at that today. So if you all could tell me what you think this time is. That's right, two o'clock. Okay, so now I'm going to do a new time. Okay. All right, so now our hour hand, it's pointing more toward the four. So four, and then what do we say this was? It even has it written on my handy dandy little clock here, 4.30, okay? All right, so next, let's see if you all can tell me this time, okay? What time would that be? Yes, six o'clock, six o'clock. So our hour hand is on that six and our minute hand is on that 12, meaning o'clock. Notice that minute hand, it does, it does a lot of the work here to help us learn our fives, okay? That's even on the clock. So next we have, we're gonna move on to this time. Okay, what time would that be, boys and girls? That's right, 8 o'clock, 8 o'clock. Next, we have this time. So, the hour hand is on the 10. Yes, very good, 10, 30, okay? Because we're going to count that by fives, remember? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So 10, 30. If you notice, the hour hand is getting almost to where it's in between the 10 and the 11 hour, 11th hour. So, but it's, it's closer to the 10, okay? But if you notice, let me keep moving my minute hand. See, if you notice... It's getting, that hour hand's getting a little closer to the 11, boys and girls. And then pretty soon, that's when it becomes 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock. So next is going to be around our lunchtime. So 12, 12.30, boys and girls. So if you notice the hour hand, it gets in the middle it's, yeah, the hour hand is in the middle between the 12 and the 1 whenever it gets to the 30. But let's keep moving it. 
and you'll see that hour hand get closer to the one. All right, so now that would make us one o'clock. Okay, boys and girls, so this completes our lesson for today. This was, once again, this was lesson 116. And there is no paperwork to be done with this. You all may go ahead and work on the education website that I've provided each of your parents a code with. And thank you for watching. Um, I hope everyone is well. And I hope everyone's having a very blessed day. See you guys tomorrow.